Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Hopefully all you guys out there in YouTube land are faring well in this current apocalypse that we're all dealing with. Um, I hope you guys are safe that you're prepared for everything that's happening here. Most importantly, I hope you're not getting too stressed out with all the limitations that are obviously being put on everyone. We're here on the Hacienda, and by we, I mean myself and Lola. So, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna have some fun here. First, I wanna introduce you guys to the Gun Nerds t-shirt right there, boom! <laughs> so you can get this on Ballistic Inc. If you wanna support us, buy some merch from us, go to Ballistic Inc. You will see the Gun Nerds as well as the Hank Strange logo shirt, which uh, we've got uh, both the broadcasting one with a microphone and we have a new laser blaster one. And I'm going to be throwing up some different uh, different kinds of things up there. You guys will find some cool shirts on there for myself and other folks. So make sure you go check that out. Today, we're actually talking about Lead Star. So come on in, Lola, and we will show Lead Star, uh, makers of ARs. And here is the, uh, this is the Lead Star Grunt um, 5.56 slash 2.2.3 AR that we have here. If you haven't heard about Lead Star, it's one of those companies that makes higher end ARs. And it's actually now under the ownership of the guys at PSA. So I'll just show you the box here so you can see some of the logo stuff on it. So this is what it looks like. This is the box it comes in. Um, this is about a thousand dollar AR here, and I think previously these were a little bit more expensive than that, probably approaching like two thousand um, dollars. Lead Star, one of their things is they tend to go lighter weight, so this is a lighter weight rifle here. Um, they try to go high end. This is, I'm gonna pull this up for you guys so I can tell you exactly which one it is. I believe this is the Lead Star Grunt. Um, I think it's just the grunt. I know on it it has grunt and then three. So I'm going to assume it's the grunt three and that's not just some graphics that's up there. So I'm going to say it's the Let's Star grunt three. Now, as you know, when you go to PSA, most of their stuff has a lot of different SKUs. When I was looking there, I noticed that um, the one that I found had a lighter weight stock on it. This is a Magpul stock that's on here. Let me pull it up for you for you all so I could share that with you. So here we go, the Lead Star Grunt 16 inch 223-556 AR with 17 inch handguard, Grunt handguard. So that's what we would have here. Uh, but as you can see there, that stock is a little bit different. That's your one of your lighter weight stocks. Um, so if you're looking for that and you're wondering why the stock is different, I couldn't actually find that exact same stock. It's about 949 right now. Knowing PSA as I do, there will be some sales on this. So for information on all this stuff, you guys could check the uh, description or go to hankstrange.com and we'll have links to things if you, if you want to get your hands on some of this stuff that we're showing you here. Go on hankstrange.com, there'll be links to all of that. Or hit me up, hit up me and Lola on social media or by other means and we will let you know. So um, this has a mid-length gas system. The gas block is micro style steel with black nitride. QPQ, it's got the grunt combat trigger in it, nickel boron, coated and polished mil spec trigger that you can see here. There's your handguard, um, the, the bolt carrier, all that stuff is, uh, is black nitrite uh, coated. The twist is one and seven. I'm just reading some of the details. I'll try to roll this in for you guys. Thread pattern is uh, half by 28. Um, and like I said, so the one that's on the picture here, that's the MFT Battle Link stock that's that's in the picture. But this one has a Magpul on it. So um, I have a feeling if you really dig there, you'll find the, the Magpul one if you want that. If you want to go lighter than it is, that MFT um, does give you a lot more lightness. I threw the ACSS Cyclops on top of this so far as a red dot. Doesn't come with any kind of optics. Um, it does have this uh, 
muzzle device on it. What do they what do they call this? Hold on a second. I will pull that up. The Ravage Linear Compensator. So that's going to be loud and annoying. Obnoxious there, Lola. Uh, like I said before, Leadstar tends to make um, higher end, lightweight, competition style rifles. A 5.56, 9mm. I've shot their stuff over at PSA. The company is owned by PSA and Derek, the founder of Leadstar, is actually the guy developing uh, PSA's MP5 clone that's coming out. Very cool guy, very knowledgeable. If you want to see me interviewing him at SHOT Show 2020, um, just search here on the channel for my SHOT Show 2020 footage um, on the MP5 clone and you will find my interview with Derek. Uh, it's very interesting and informative. Um, I would say this gun looks good, feels good. If, if, uh, if you see, you've got the logo, Lead Star stuff is all over it. Um, this, I think, is their proprietary uh, grip that's on here, and it looks it looks very slim. So it's it, one it's slim, and it's also very comfortable. It's got kind of this like soft rubber there to it. it has a good feel. Um, I don't know if they did that with Magpul or something like that. I don't really know, but it does have the Lead Star marking on it, as does the handguard, right? Um, and it's M-Lock, of course. So you go mid-length gas system onto there. Um, it, this looks and feels good. So, you know, I believe everything here is made in the USA. This we got from the PSA slash Leadstar guys as a TNE. and I'm probably not going to have this for a long time. So I figured I'll just put a couple of shots through it and share that with you guys. And if you want to know more info on this gun, then hit me up. And while I do have it, I will try to get that info out to you. We're going to shoot some Fort Scott Munitions 5.56, the Bush Hog stuff, as well as I've got some old school like uh, 223 munitions here uh, in this bag that we'll shoot to go through it. It does come with one Magpul uh, P-Mag that we will that we use while we're out here. And uh, as I said, that's pretty much it. I want to see, let me see how this trigger feels. Yeah, it's a pretty good, you know, a little bit more than your standard. It's got a nice uh, charging handle there that's easy enough to grab. Uh, it's just on this one side, which is where I would really need it, right? I don't think you need it on this side unless you're, you know, unless you're, I guess you're left-handed or something like that. So, um, that's the features that I can go over it here. Important thing, we're going to shoot it. And I'm not going to do a ton of shooting because in these days and times, Lola... I think folks out there need to hold on to their ammo as much as possible. I'm not saying don't do any shooting. Hopefully you guys have plenty of ammo. We do have some ammo here. Um, look, we've got a lot of Fort Scott stuff. They sponsor the channel here. If you want to save some money on the Fort Scott stuff, use the code HANK10 from those guys. They are still making ammo. I think there's probably, like, I'm going to say maybe a two-week delay from any of the companies out there, including Fort Scott, but they're, make, they're still making this stuff. So if you haven't gotten... All of your supplies, shame on you. You should, you should have. But we don't really want to shoot a lot or shoot too much here. I just want to get my first shots through this, share it with everyone, get it up there. You all let me know what you want to see us uh, delve into here or if you want to know any more info about Lead Star. Um, I'm going to load up the magazine, Lola, and get to shooting. All right, so I've got my D-wipes out here, and I got these from Brownells. So um, there's lots of things going on right now. Um, I have quite a few friends that are getting uh, heavy deposits of lead because obviously we're out here shooting a lot um, and that does become an issue if you're not careful. So I think it is a good idea to have stuff like D-wipes that you can wipe your hands and wipe down stuff after you're shooting. Um, you know, you just wanna be as careful as you can. So I got these from Brownells and if you're interested in that, I'll give you guys a link. Okay, it's a loading. Okay, so you see this um, this 8 inch plate, circular plate that's right in front of me? I'm gonna shoot at that. The action target one? Yeah, if you could okay. just tell me if I'm high, low, or whatever, that would help. Are you able to look? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm recording. Okay. I'm just gonna try to see how close we are here. Where'd 
gonna go? Uh, it's right at the, t at the top. It hit it? Yeah, you hit it. You hit it again. Really? Hit it again. Oh, okay. Pretty close. Let me go for that silhouette in the back. Uh, hit. Hit. Okay, cool. Okay, let me shoot here more. You're recording, right? Uh huh. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm actually surprised that the optic is on because I just threw it on there and um, <laughs> I didn't really, you know, we didn't really have to zero it or anything. It seems pretty on. Also, I would say with that compensate, it's probably really annoying, right, Lola? No. No, it's not so bad? Oh, okay. It's very flat shooting, if that's a thing for anyone out there. Um, so that's pretty good. On the right? Yeah, see that orange plate all the way the furthest back? Uh-huh, on the right? Yeah. Okay. Let me go for that. You rolling? Yep. Wow, this thing is like 20 for 20. Yeah. <laughs> Makes you look good. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. That's not bad for uh 556. Five, yeah. And uh like a rifle, I'm not I'm not really resting it on anything. Uh that's pretty cool. And I didn't have to like it's it's perfect right there, man. You don't want to mess with a man with a rifle. So um, I'm, I switched ammo now to this. Uh, I've got some uh, old packet of GTR munition. This is really old. This has got to be like years old here. 223, 55 grain, FMJ. Um, this was like machine reloaded stuff here from these guys. So let's see how this is like versus the 556 five, Bush Hog stuff. Um, I would one, use that, that uh, Fort Scott Bush Hog stuff for hunting for sure. And definitely with this rifle, you could, you know, in my opinion, use that for hunting. That was like the combination there. I think is pretty good. Let's uh, let's see how this stuff is now. Uh, not so. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we ran the steel too. I think I had like one flyer there in the beginning. That's pretty good, man. I'm really impressed with the combo here. The Cyclops, the Grunt from Lead Star. Um, yeah, everything's working pretty good. I will load up one more time, do a little bit more shooting here, and then we'll call it a day because we don't want to be, we don't want to burn all our ammo, you know. Gotta save ammo. Alright, so you know what I'm gonna do, Lola? Uh, I'm gonna go freestanding here. I wanna see how good this is when I'm actually just standing up and moving. So we can pretty much move over here. I think I've got 30 rounds left. Uh, I am impressed by all the different combinations of stuff that we're dealing with here. The barrel, the trigger, um, all of that. So from probably from here, I will see how it is freestanding. That comp on there is obnoxious. I think Lola, you're saying you're seeing some fireballs coming out of there, right? Fireballs and yeah. that wind. Oh, <laughs> pressure, pressure. That's basically what that is. So let's see how good I am freestanding over here with this. Let's see if, if I can ring that steel.
That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I like that. That's cool. Let's uh let's go sit down over here and wrap this up. All right, so um just to wrap this all up really quick for you guys, I put a um, 90 rounds through it. I know that's not a lot. Like I said, I'm just gonna do the first shots with it. Find out from you guys what you really wanna know about this. Um, ARs, you know, you have to work really hard, I think, to mess up an AR. I know some people do it. Lead Star definitely hasn't done that. Um, when a lot of people look at these, they don't really see differences with ARs, right? So nowadays, like what's happening right now, if folks are running out there and just buying up ARs, you could probably get, if you really look around, an AR for like 400 bucks on sale, maybe even less. Um, sometimes we, we share things like that if you keep up with us. So you might say to yourself, I don't need a $1,000 AR, but in with something like this Lead Star, I think you're definitely getting what you pay for, right? There's those upgraded features that you could go buy a five, six hundred dollar AR and then to upgrade to a nicer uh, pistol grip to get a nicer handguard in there, a comp. I think a lot of this, the uh, awesome shooting that you see here from this gun is coming from that comp, the barrel combination, all those things that Lead Star knows, understands and puts together. Um, like I said, Derek uh, did a lot of competition shooting and he really knows what he's doing here. Um, so I'm impressed by that. Now, if you don't want to spend the 950 bucks that this is right now on PSA, then I say just wait around, keep an eye on the gun because PSA always has sales and things like that coming up. So you might want to, uh, you know, if you want to hold off for that, absolutely feel free and do that. We're talking about PSA here. There's always some awesome sale going down. Excellent trigger on this as well, I think. Here, let me... Ooh, it is hot though. It is hot. I gotta tell you guys that. Definitely heated up really fast here. Empty magazine. Gonna leave the, uh, the port open on it. This did heat up really fast, so I would shoot with gloves. You know, when you have a lot of uh, aluminum on there, it conducts uh, heat very rapidly. Nice trigger on there, really. I could tell when I was shooting. The reset, I'm, uh, it's it's hard to get all of this across to you guys, but I just think the combo of everything really works great here, um, which you can find on a nice AR. And, and like I was saying, you could put it together yourself and still spend the same kind of money, or you can have someone put all these things together for you in a nice package like this, um, and maybe save yourself a little bit of money, especially if there's a deal going on. The primary arms optic on this is the Cyclops. That also is great. Um, really have no complaints with that so just uh, as I said I don't want to make this too long let me know what you guys want to know about this what information what would you like us to do with the time that we do have left with this let's start grunt 3 and uh, I'll try to get that done for you guys before this uh, this t &E moves on here but I think a really nice gun and even nicer when you catch it on sale from PSA. So <laughs> that's it. Leave your comments here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Most importantly, ring the bell so you can be notified when we turn on videos here on the channel. Um, and do not forget to go to hankstrange.com. There is, you can sign up for our email list so we can keep in touch with you and let you know deals and all that kind of stuff that's going on with us, what platforms we're on. We've got Lola's deals on there. Lola, in, inside of that, we have Lola's daily deals that she's posting up stuff. But you have to go to the dot com to get all of that because platforms are really coming down on us and giving us a very difficult time here with, um, with trying to bring these kinds of savings and info to you all. So I appreciate everyone's support. I really hope you guys stay safe and sound out there, especially mentally sound. Keep paying attention to what's going on and realize that uh, the stuff happening right now should not be an excuse for the government or anyone else to take away your liberties from you. All right, I'm Hank Strange. On behalf of Lola Strange, we're out. Peace. Make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.